Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here. We're going to be taking a look at how the iPhone SE first generation has been holding up on the latest iOS 13.5.1. Now before we get into the video, if you do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from Ice Cool Tech. Every subscriber truly does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. iOS 13.5.1 was a rather small update that only brought one security fix for the exploit used in Uncover 5.0, which allowed a jailbreak for iOS 13.5 on all devices including A12, A13, iPhones, and iPads. Now, as expected, performance while running iOS 13.5.1 has been perfectly fine. All day-to-day -day tasks perform great and there have not been any noticeable changes in general performance since updating from iOS 13.5. Again, this is expected as iOS 13.5.1 only brought one security patch and it's a very, very small update. With that said, animations on iOS 13.5.1 are also just as smooth as iOS 13.5. There hasn't been any notable increase or decrease in smoothness in any areas. iOS 13.5 and many earlier versions of iOS 13 have had very fluid animations and this update is no exception. Now, before we talk about battery life, I would like to take a second to mention that my iPhone SE first generation is holding a maximum battery capacity of 91% and has had a restart. However, I have manually disabled throttling and settings, meaning that my iPhone SE is not being performance throttled to maintain battery life and prevent restarts. Now, battery life on the iPhone SE while running iOS 13.5.1 has been okay for the most part. I have noticed a drain while running iOS 13.5.1, and other iPhone SE first generation users have even reported this as well. Now, some have also reported overheating with the iPhone SE first generation, which I will be definitely taking a look into. Now, if you're an iPhone SE user, I'd recommend keeping a spare charger with you or using a battery case, as the battery life isn't the greatest anyway. Now, as for standby time, I have noticed a pretty significant drain. Over one night, the iPhone saw a drain of 23%, while another night, it only went down 17%. So, we're looking at around 20% drain on standby. Now, this is not good, and I hope to see a fix soon. Now, of course, should you update? Well, if you're still on iOS 13.5 or iOS 13.4.1 or older, and you don't really care about battery life, or you always have access to a charger, I definitely recommend updating. And if you're on an older version of iOS 13, care about battery, and don't always have access to a charger, then I'd recommend waiting for a future release. If you're on iOS 12 or earlier, I always advise staying there for stability, battery life, and performance. Overall, iOS 13.5.1 was a very small update, just fixing the exploit used in Uncover 5.0, and it has seen no improvements and battery life has even seen a slight decrease. However, this does not make it a bad update, but it isn't the greatest either. Now, if you do have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out the Ice Cool Tech official Discord, link in the description down below as always. And also make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.